Oh. Okay, so this is part C of the Le Chatelier's principle. We're going to look at the equilibrium between iron and the iron thiocyanate um, um, complex ion. So Morgan, this one starts with having us make up a stock solution. Can you tell me what, I already have the 25 milliliters of water. What do I need to put in this? You have your stock solution. You're gonna mix in to your 25 mils of water, half a mil of 0.1 molar iron three chloride. Okay, that's about, it. this is the iron. So. When I do this, first of all, I want you to note that the color of this iron is yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good enough, very, right? Very precise. Very precise. So that iron complex is yellow. That's an important thing to note. And then the thiocyanate is um, clear. And I'm going to add how much of that one? Uh, also half a mil of 0.1 molar. So we'll go. Oh, I'm going to really be quick and dirty on that one. I'm going to use the graduation marks. Okay. So this may look familiar. We've done this. Um, we've measured this one before. This complex is this, what color would you say that is? Orange? Blood orange. Blood orange. Okay. So the equilibrium that I just established is that I started with the iron, which is this yellow color. And then I added the thiocyanate, which is clear. And the complex ion is, I'm going to call it brown, red color. So as I can use that then to track this position of equilibrium. Now I need to put a little bit of this. Oh, I need to mix this up really well. So I just have a beaker here so I can do that. And I'm going to put a little bit in this solution in each of these test tubes so I can compare. Okay, so um, one of these test tubes needs to stay as my control, yes? So this is, this is my baseline. This is when I've got this mixture of of all together. Now, I'm going to play with the Chatelier's principle by adding excess of some reagents. So the first one I'm supposed to play with is which one? You want to add 10 drops of the 0.1 molar iron 3 chloride. So that's this. So here on the board, I'm going to put an excess of this iron. So what's going to happen as I add excess? The Chatelier's principle, take a minute and make your prediction. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just add. Okay, so if we can compare, if we compare the two, let me put this on a white background. I think that makes it a little easier to see. If we can compare that, this one had the iron, extra iron chloride in it, and this was my control. So, is it clear to you that we're getting more of the complex ion there? We had a shift. It does seem to be darker on the right side. Okay, so that resulted in a shift to the right because this color got darker. Okay, now in the next part, we are going to add a little excess. What are we adding? This time we're adding uh, 10 drops of the thiocyanate. Okay, so that's the clear one. Okay, so here's my control again. Let me put it against the white background. So adding the extra thiocyanate. Also quite dark. Also quite dark. Now if I could compare what happened when I added the extra iron versus the extra thiocyanate, it doesn't really seem to matter which one I added excess of, either one will do, it doesn't matter. So let's put that up on the board. So again, I put excess thiocyanate, so the equilibrium again shifted to the right to give me extra brown red color. Okay. Um, now, finally, the last thing I need to do is add five drops of saturated salt water. So now we're ready to add that sodium chloride. Now, the sodium chloride is not common to this system. 
So I can't just look at where's the excess in a shift, it's a little bit different. The other way that we can shift an equilibrium besides adding a common ion is I can add something that removes an ion. So what the iron, what the, what the chloride does here is when I add the chloride ion, it effectively reacts with the iron to make a complex ion and it removes the iron cation. So a removal, make a prediction, what's that gonna do to the equilibrium? So here we go. Here is my final test tube. I'm gonna, here's my saturated sodium chloride. I'm gonna add, how much does it want me to do? Well, let's just add it until we a, see. A bunch of drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's my sodium chloride. And as we look, this was my control. There's way less of that orange red color. And in fact, if I compare it, we're getting very close to the original um, ferric without any thiocyanate. So adding that chloride removes the iron. It's effectively removing this. So we get a shift to the left to replace it which makes the brown color go away.